Carolyn Jane, a judge denied bond for the suspect in this case. So right now he is being held here on several charges, including criminal sexual conduct and kidnapping. Robert Dennis Threggill the third in custody. The Spartanburg County Sheriff says that arrest is 17 years in the making. It's got to be very scary. Number one, that you're a victim. Number two, you don't know who did it. Deputies say Robert Threadgill wore a ski mask when he tried to rob the clerk at a Cowpens convenience store in August of 2000. Investigators say Threadgill wanted the clerk to open the store's safe, and when she couldn't, he raped her in the store bathroom. According to the report, before he left, he pointed a gun at a customer and threatened to shoot him. At this point, I'm sure that, that she was thinking it may never be solved. So, The sheriff says the break in the case came when the Department of Corrections did a DNA test on Threadgill, who is in custody in Newberry County for an unrelated case. The sheriff says Threadgill's DNA matched the evidence from the rape case. Spartanburg County deputies say to double check, they did another DNA test on Threadgill, and once again, it matched their evidence. The, the poor lady that was a victim now, she didn't have to look over her shoulder anymore. You know, she didn't have to hear a voice behind her and think, is that the guy? The sheriff says the arrest of that suspect who is being held here at the jail right now could help other cold cases. We'll tell you how coming up tonight at 5 o'clock. Mike McCormick, WIFF News 4. Live tonight in Spartanburg.